Hey, what's up? This is Mike D, and you're watching Groovy TV. Rock. <laughs> it is Groovy. I'm here with Mike D of Kill Switch Engage, Summit Musical. How are you, sir? Doing very well. Doing very well. Tour is going awesome, and we are here playing a different place for the first time. Right on. Yeah, We've this played is this place before, but we're excited. This is this is a badass place, but it's a little bit hot today. So you worried about that at all? Ah, uh, yes, very <laughs> much so. But you can't go wrong with a video game machine place right across the street, and that's where I've been all day. <laughs> that's where we're going after this too. <laughs> so how does lineup come together? I mean, it's freaking awesome tour. Um, well, I mean, the original thing was as I lay dying and stuff happened, so oh, okay. we had to scramble to uh, to fit that void. But um, Miss May, I we had known for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we met them on a European tour, and it seemed like they would fit in with uh, oh, a bunch yeah. of fun guys. And um, Affiance uh, had been brought to us by uh, uh, Bullet Tooth Records, which is a label that my other bands on um, <clears throat> Death Ray Vision. I'm, I, I started a band in this. Two year interim where we were taking a little break from Kill Switch Engage. And, right. Um, and then uh, Darkest Hour, we've known for many, many years. We've done Ozfests with them, we've done Mayhems with them, all mm -hmm. that stuff. And uh, Word Alive, we've never heard of, but we put them on and they're doing awesome. So, <laughs> you know. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, all these bands are just like, um, like even the new guy, like Miss May I, they're, they're fairly new and just going crazy. They have been uh, ruling the stage. They've been doing really well. People yeah. seem to love them. You know, I actually uh, interviewed Levi two years ago, and he was talking about how you guys were his main influence. Oh, really? <laughs> so this is actually a dream come true, but he's probably not going to tell you that. No, kill it. He's a super nice guy. <laughs> he's the nicest guy ever. <laughs> so the new album is freaking awesome, man. I mean, like, I've been a fan of yours since ever, 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 ever. What was it like putting this awesome album together? Well, we had a series break, like I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. and... Um, I guess in the break we weren't sure if the band was still going to be a band. We were, it was very undecided, and uh, I was just pissed. I just wanted to play, play music. So, uh, like I said, I started a new band, like a throwback sort of hardcore band, a '90s, Chromags tribute, you know, uh, Leeway, Agnostic Front, Mad Ball, kind of like tough guy tribute type band. Mm -hmm. And I was playing that, and I uh, just started writing a bunch of music for that. And that sort of segue into the new Kill Switch record. I was still writing pissed off music, and I brought we we all write demos and then we bring them to practice and we all talk about them. And then uh, if people like them, we'll go use the Pro Tools and everyone will kind of put their own spin on on what they're thinking for a song. And uh, I started first and played some of my really pissed off music. And Adam turned to me and goes, "That's kind of what I was thinking too." So they're like, "Okay, well, I don't know if that's the exact reason why we had a pissed off record, but..." That's the way I'm putting it. So, <laughs> I personally freaking love it. I mean, and I think the, a lot of the cr critics do as well. It's gotten great reviews. It's been doing good. Yeah, yeah. So, what's going on with um, the next tours? Um, let's see. We're headed over to Europe after this. Uh, we're doing uh, Japan and then uh, Thailand, mm -hmm. Singapore, and Malaysia. We've never been to Thailand, Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia before. Kind of nervous about it. We're a little excited too. Right. Not many places we haven't been before, so when we get to go, it's pretty cool. Right on. Um, uh, and then we're finishing up the European tours, uh, I mean, the European festivals over in Germany and the UK and stuff like that. Um, and then back over to do this gigantic US tour that I can't talk about yet, but it's going to be a big one. <laughs> it's a top secret one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really good. We're excited as hell about it. No clues, no hints. No clues or hints. Dang! Get in trouble. I'm always the guy who blows all of this stuff out of the water, so today I'm keeping my lips shut. All right, I don't want to get you in trouble, Matt. So with the, with the band you started in the interim, are you still working on that? Yeah, uh, we put out an EP. It's with Brian Fair from Shadows Fall yeah. and uh, Pete Cortez, who was in my old band, Overcast, and he was in a band with Jesse called Seamless. And um, we put out an EP a couple of years ago, then Bullet Tooth signed us, which is uh, Josh from Trustkill's new label. Okay. And then uh, we did an LP that should be out in September okay. uh, on Bullet Tooth, so look for that. That's badass. Like, are you going to try to fit in tours between the Kill Switch ones? Yeah, this is definitely our main priority over here at Kill Switch Inc. Uh, 
but uh, whenever I get a chance, we're going to do tours with that band too. Uh, we're scheduled to do one in September, right when the LP comes out. So nice. do a couple of different things while we we have an interim of nothing going on because you know Shadows Falls doing stuff, we're doing stuff. It's oh, yeah. it's kind of hard to get together, but it's really fun. Right on, man. All right, well, um, we asked uh, we asked bands coming through town this question this is our survey question asked it over 300 times so far i might even ask you a couple years back are you ready sir i am of course very ready <laughs> jeopardy theme please in your entire touring history all over the world what's the worst thing you've ever eaten <laughs> i am vegetarian let me preface it by saying that so it's yeah. probably not as bad as what you guys might eat uh let's see I mean, uh, do I have to say a, a question? Do I have to form it in a question? What is what is vegetarian shrimp? It tastes like gummy worms. Sorry. You don't have to form it in a question, but that was cool. You guys have not got that right yet. It's inedible. Take it off the menu. What would they put in vegetarian shrimp? It tastes like gummy worms, literally. It's like plasticky kind of chewy uh, when you deep fry things anything deep fried is going to taste good no matter what but these just don't really pull it off I'm surprised they don't melt in the fry later it's kind of what it is it sounds like something you get out of state fair deep fried gummy worms they haven't quite mastered that yet <laughs> all right man thank you so much for your time great thank you right on this is Groovy. I'm here with Mike D's Kill Switch Engage Summit Music Hall, Denver, Colorado. Woo!